Hey guys! It's Thanksgiving and ANP Reacts is going to be cooking a Thanksgiving dinner for you. Yeah, and it's American Thanksgiving, not Canadian. Canadian was already like months ago, like yeah. a month and a half ago. So we're doing Can American Thanksgiving and we thought about what is the most traditional dish that you can do on American Thanksgiving. It's not turkey. No. No. Tacos. Tacos, yeah. Yeah, tacos. Tacos. I mean, if there's one thing that screams... America. It's tacos. Exactly. So we're here to do some tacos for you guys. And we're going to also be trying that specific, very specific, where is it? Here. That specific hot sauce called Edible Autopsy that we got in our Metalhead box. So uh, this is going to be the special ingredient. Yeah, and this was the start to this whole video. No, this that is the whole the aprons. Yeah, but these were the whole reasons. Exactly. So we thought after the tacos are finished, this will be... Like the cherry on top, if you yeah. will. And then we'll eat them and we'll try them out and uh, we'll let you know and we'll hopefully uh, burn how, our this, asses. Yeah, how this hot sauce uh, goes. But also, it'll give you a chance for you guys to uh, experience the, the cooking pleasures of tacos with the two of us. Exactly. Because we're, like, we're, we're professionals when it comes exactly, to tacos. I'm Gordon Ramsay. I know. I fart and a taco comes out. That's how good I am at making tacos. Not that I eat those, but... You know, you, you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. On that note, can you grab the plate so we can show these good folks some of the things that we normally use on our tacos? So this is the plate where the tacos are going to go on. Yeah. And normally what we do when we start our taco making process, we always started with taco shells. These ones are made by Dempster. They don't sponsor this show. But, you know, I like to use Dempster because they have the Canadian maple leaf on them and we like to support Canadian made products. So we use these shells, and that's always the first ingredient that goes into making a good taco. So there's the shells. Let's put it like that. Exactly. Then the next step is you get some frozen ground beef. You know what I mean? Like this is the good stuff. This looks. And you want to keep it frozen too. You want yeah. You want to keep it frozen because you want to keep the meat consistent. Yeah. The nice texture, the the crunchy texture. You know. The consistency of the meat is extremely important, and you want to get this extra life. Uh, th this is like a magnum size. Uh, ground beef the so that you can Peter North ground beef exactly so you can play with it and you can see the consistency of this like this is super consistent you know like this is this is thick like you know th this this is really strong so this will give you the type of tacos that you want which is strong consistent uh, manly men kind of taco so you put that on top of the taco shells now in order to make the taco more pleasant like yeah. more flavor uh, ish flavor ish flavor ish you need other elements one of the elements that we normally add to the meat is chili powder so we normally add chili powder to that meat in order to give a little bit of a kick uh, because we don't want the tacos to taste oh, like shit meat. well i was gonna say gringos tacos oh yeah yeah we want them to have a little bit of an ethnic flavor to them if you will so chili powder old el paso uh, nothing it doesn't, it doesn't get more spanish mexican than that spanish mexican, spanish -Mexican. okay it doesn't get more spanglish than that old El Paso. So we put that right on top. You can you can try to bend the package so you can you can make sure it stays on yeah. top. Because when it cooks, you want it on it. Then the next thing that's really important in any taco is lettuce. Now we don't buy just any lettuce. We buy lettuce that already comes pre-bagged. Yeah. That way we make sure that there's no hands on it, that there's no bugs, no no lettuce bugs, no things like that. You don't even have to wash it because it already comes rinsed and pre-washed and pre-bagged. And we sprinkle this uh, all over the, the presentation of the meat and the old El Paso tacos. Next, the next two, uh, three very important ingredients yeah. for this is the onions. Now, the onions normally, uh, at least in this house, they come in a Ziploc bag. Oh, there goes Buddy. Let me grab Buddy. Hold on a second. Come, Buddy. Oh, he took a shit on the floor. He didn't, he, he didn't want to <laughs> shit. That's not going in the taco, though. No, exactly. But he, he's smart. He didn't want to shit on the tacos or on me, so he shit on the floor. Anyways, so onions are very important. I don't they know come... why we're using onions. Do onions usually go on tacos? Uh, I, I like a little bit of onions on my tacos. I mean, yeah. They don't have to go on the tacos, but if, you get, if, you're, if you're going for a taco supreme, then you have to add something. Okay. And I, I, don't, I don't mind the onions. So you want to put the onions somewhere like there. It's, it's a nice little place for the onions. Then the last two little important, little, they're little, but they're important. They have a big importance. Size yeah, doesn't yeah. matter when it comes to making Especially tacos. Especially with this tomato. Exactly. So you need tomatoes to go in your tacos. 
and you need cheese. Not just any kind of cheese. We like pre-shredded cheese, so that way you don't cut your fingers. Exactly. You don't... The labor's already done. Exactly. And it was cheap labor. Perhaps like some underage kid in Indonesia. I, I, I don't know. So it's Cracker Barrel Matzah Cheddar. So this is where the culture start to yeah. mingle. Now you're getting, uh, you know, Mexican tacos with a little bit of an Italian flavor to it. Very important because you really want to become as universal with your cooking Excellent. as possible. You want to be cultural inclusive. Cultural appropriation. Yeah. And we want to be inclusive. Yeah. We want to be inclusive. So then on top of the onions, you put, oh, go here, buddy. Uh, you, you put the cheese. You try to spread the cheese within the package. Yeah. Don't, don't even try to get it out of the package. It's really like, it's completely it's a hassle. It's unnecessary. It gets messy. Uh, and you wanna you wanna put it? No, you want the onions to go first. The, the okay. cheese has to go on top because you wanna melt the cheese. Yeah. You wanna yeah. Melt. All right. So now all of this, as is, is gonna go into the microwave. So here's the microwave. If you guys can see it, it's right over here. You're gonna put it in the microwave. Here, as is. You put the cheese on top. Boom. And he's. We're gonna normally cook it for two minutes. Two minutes. That should do. That should do. So we want to press it for, you said two minutes. I said two minutes. I, th I think it's, over, it's going to overcook. Yeah, they're going to become hard shell. Exactly. So I think we have to go with just one minute on the microwave. So press one minute. All right. So now while we wait for the tacos to cook, uh, we can show you a little bit of our, uh, a little, uh, what, do you call, what do you call this? Apron. Apron. Cooking apron. Uh, Cannibal Corpse cooking apron. And uh, our hats. This is, by the way, how we cook all the time. Yeah. Uh, you you want to guys... feel like a chef when you're preparing food. Exactly. And, and I think you guys don't see us cooking uh, in our videos. We don't cook, so you don't see it. But this is exactly how we cook every night. When I come the home best, from work. The best fashion choice. Exactly. He's home already. He's already preparing. He's already getting the food started. I show up. I just do the final touches. I'm like Gordon Ramsay, and he's like one of those stupid apprentices that don't know what the fuck you're doing. They yeah. get slapped around all the time. So, hey, buddy, you, you're joining us. And here's Buddy, our green cheek conure. All right, he's are you not, excited? He's not being added to the tacos. No, I don't think he's very excited. I don't no. think he's being very excited. All right, so how much how much time do you have left? Oh, oh. only five seconds left. It, we're almost there, folks. We're almost there. Just a few more. And that is the signal that the tacos are ready. Oh. Oh. Look out, at that. Look at that. Look it at that. Just as... Just as planned. Yeah. Just as planned. Look at that. That's incredible work. I mean... We only do incredible. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. This is absolutely phenomenal. Now, to go with these tacos, we have that special ingredient oh, that we shit. mentioned, the hot sauce, the edible autopsy hot sauce. Here, here. Okay, there's the camera angle. There you go. This stuff, it's going to be the deal breaker, the make it or break it on these tacos. Let me see. Um, these are my tacos. Those are your two tacos. I think we should just try on one taco first yeah. before we spread it across both tacos. Um, this is going to kind of go for it. So yeah. let's change places here. So you want me to put the hot sauce on the tacos and then uh, I'll give you one and I'll take one yeah, sure. and we'll eat it. Okay. So let me open this up. Hold on a second. Let me give us a better angle. All right. So here we are. Sorry about that. We had some technical issues. Uh, so here's the hot sauce. The tacos are over here. I'm going to put the hot sauce on the taco. I'm going to give them one. I'm going to try one and we'll see. Let's see how this goes. It could go any. It really can go sideways. It could go straight. It could go anywhere. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. I'm very scared. Okay. So I'm opening the taco sauce. Give it a whiff. All right. So it's open. The seal is broken. What do you think? It smells pretty good, actually. Yeah, it smells good. It doesn't have a really strong odor to it. Like yeah. it doesn't smell super See, it spicy. Doesn't, it doesn't smell like it's gonna burn my ass, but I know it is. All right, so let's try this. Let me put this on the tacos. Oh, I don't wanna put. Don't put too much. I don't wanna put too much. Okay. Gotta shake the taco up a little bit so. Just... I'll put mine. Let me put it on yours. A little bit there it spreads it out nicely all right so dude go over there oh shit that's your taco and this is my taco here you want to you want a tissue maybe it's i think that would be the the the, the wise the, the wise, wise decision all right so let's put it on a, let me wrap it up a little bit all right so 
Here we go. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Let me try this. It's pretty good. I'm not getting anything yet. I mean, it adds, it adds a little bit of flavor, but I don't feel it being very spicy. It's not hot sauce. Hold on, maybe it has an after kick. I'm not feeling anything. Right, yet. right now, it's, it feels like white man's hot sauce. Exactly. We're, we're used to like Indian style hot sauce, but you know, you can't eat the tacos. It I mean, may not it's be tacos, buddy. It's tacos. You can't have tacos. It may not be hot for us, but. Yeah, I'm not getting any. Maybe we have to put more. Do you think that's. Buddy, I can't give you tacos! Here, buddy. Just go over there. All right. Let me. Uh... I'm not getting anything. Fake news. Well, we have a second taco because we made four tacos. Maybe I need to put more. Try, try more. But right now I'm not feeling it. It's like a slight kick. That's it. This is fake news. It's like Dorito chips. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me let me try another one. A little bit more hot sauce on it. Oh, shit. Don't worry, we have another one, so you can use as much as you want. Okay, finish yours. You haven't finished your taco there. All right, let me... Let me give this second taco a go. Now, I've increased by double the amount of hot sauce on this one. I just hope that this is not one of those things that you eat now, and then an hour from later is when you're, like, really struggling with yeah, it. Yeah, it's not going to burn you going in, but it's going to burn you coming out. Perhaps that's the case, because right now... I it doesn't even have an aftercake. It doesn't even tingle, it doesn't even like sting my taste buds at all. No, it's, I mean, it added flavor, but, but, it, but it didn't add spice. Spice, no. All right, so let me try this one now. Because this one here, I went, I went to town on this one. Mmm. I don't think I had put in enough in the first one. Why is this one spicy? I'm feeling it now. Holy shit. I guess I gotta put some too. You know what we forgot? What? Liquid death. Because oh. fuck, I'm gonna need something. That's that's gonna be the the savior. Mmm. Oh, you need to put more. Oh shit! I spilled it. Okay, well. Oh, you need more. Now I feel it. Still not super super hot. Oh, but it actually tastes good. You know what? Mmm. Holy fuck, how much hot sauce did you put on that shit? A lot. I can now feel it, yeah. You feel it now? Mm hmm. It tastes better than Frank's hot sauce. And it, you know, I put that shit on everything. But it almost tastes like Portuguese pity pity. Not, not as. Not as. Not as oh, flavor. Now I'm, now I'm getting a spice, but it's not that, you know. They really hyped it up. They hyped it up, it's gonna burn my asshole. I was thinking this was going to be almost like the the ghost peppers or something like that. Yeah. You know? I was excited. Well, that was good. Hey, you know, even <clears> though <throat> even though it wasn't too um it wasn't overly spicy. Yeah, it, it was fake news. The the it was falsely advertised. But uh now I feel a kick in my mouth. It's not that bad. It's kind of tingling a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you eat curry, so perhaps for you it's is, is different. Well, it's you're fifty percent Indian. I'm one hundred percent white, so definitely the spice is going to interact different with me than yeah. it does with you. Your body built immunity. I to have it. an immunity to it. Uh, it definitely has an after kick. I'm starting to feel it now. My mouth is starting to get a little bit tingling. It doesn't have that that hot sauce. You know, like some hot sauces, when you eat something hot, you feel it in the moment that you're eating, but yeah, then it kind of lingers just kinda, out. It just kind of builds up afterwards. This one has the opposite effect. When yeah. you're eating it, you don't taste it. But after you're finished eating it, then you oh, taste it. And it's already working its way all the way down. Oh, This is going to be exciting. I think we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving and the 4th of July all in the same night, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> There's going to be some fireworks tonight in the washroom. Uh, yeah, I can feel it going all the way down already. All right, this perhaps wasn't a good idea to at least add as hey, much as I did. You know. Oh, by the way, these guys are from Keswick, Ontario. Woo! Yeah. Keswick! Woo! I really need some water. <laughs> this really has a, a little bit of an after kick. 
All right. Well, that was a successful cooking video. I think that was great. You I know, think that was great. You know, it felt limp at the end because I thought we were going to be, you know, going for the milk and, and stuff like that. But the cooking of the tacos went well. Yeah, it wasn't... Let's face the facts. It wasn't as strong as I was expecting it to be. Yeah. But it was... But, but the thing about it is it has flavor. It has flavor and it has an aftercake. So, but you have to put a lot of it. Maybe oh. you have. To, maybe we have to shake it. We didn't shake it because all the peppers are at the bottom. But for sure, it has a, an aftercake. So it's not the kind of hot sauce that, as you're eating, you start to cry because it's hot. It, it's not like that. While you're eating the food, it has a flavor. It definitely gives a flavor to the meat. But after you finish, that's when you start to feel it. That's when it starts to tingle. Your your tongue starts to tingle a little bit. Yeah. You know. So you got some pins and needles happening right now. But it's not to the point where you need just milk and milk yeah. or, you know, I've eaten hotter stuff than that. All around, I think this was a success. For, for our first and probably the last cooking video on the channel. He's probably right. Yeah. I think it was. For all of you celebrating Thanksgiving, well, my nose is starting to leak. That's always a sign of, wow. of hotness. Um, for those of you celebrating Thanksgiving, have a very happy Thanksgiving. All the best to you and your family and your loved ones. Enjoy the holidays. And uh, don't eat too much, but that's a hard thing to do on Thanksgiving. Everybody overeats it. If you're going to overeat, make sure you have pregnancy pants on. Yeah. You know, that, that helps. That or or helps. stretchy pants. Str Real men wear stretchy pants. At night. In the dark. In their room. Yeah. Okay, on that note, guys, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. Enjoy the holidays. See ya. See ya.